Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will introduce myself and I will introduce course outline, weekly learning activities. And most importantly, I will introduce how do you access Microsoft Project software and Microsoft Access software. All right, start off by introducing myself. Uh, I am Pauline Fu. I can be reached by pfu at georgebrown.ca. I have been teaching at George Brown College for 18 years for mathematics, statistics, accounting applications, and computer applications. I fully developed the online course for Comp 1010 and Comp 1115 uh, 10 years ago, and I have been, been teaching fully online since then. Uh, I did comparative studies uh, between face-to-face -face delivery and fully online delivery. And my comparative study uh, contributes educational um, fields both theoretically and practically. I am also a prompt author of two textbooks published by Nelson Technology about computer applications. Um, I also teach at MBA level at McMaster University, DeGroote School of Business, and Brock University uh, MPA program, a Goodman School of Business. My educational background includes a PhD from University of Toronto, master's degree from York University on mathematics and statistics. Uh, I earned two degrees, one from York University on business economics. The other is mathematics from Fudan University, Shanghai, China. Uh, I also got a computer networking engineering postgraduate diploma from Japan and computer uh, system technology, a three-year diploma from Centennial College. I, um, my professional involvement, I am a member for uh, George Brown College uh, Research, Innovation and uh, Adversary Committee member from year 2013 to 2017. And also I involved in Ontario College Mathematics Education um, Association in year 2006. Uh, as regards to my areas of expertise, um, I am, it is uh, mathematics, statistics, computers, uh, business analytics, business forecasting, uh, and information system and information technology. For professional development, I gave a poster presentation at the Fields Institute, University of Toronto. The title is um, Regustis Zone of Plasmate Development Implications for Mathematics Education. I also gave a presentation at the Ryerson University Teaching and Learning Conference, Spring 2017. The title is Using Student Created Data to uh, Teach Statistics. I hope my educational background and the teaching experiences will help you learn this computer application course. Uh, once again, welcome to Computer Application 2, Comp 1115. Uh, so I introduced myself next. I will introduce course outline, weekly activity on the Blackboard, as well as uh, VPN access to Microsoft Project software and uh, uh, Microsoft Access software. Um, so I'm going to open up the Blackboard. Uh, by the way, if you have any questions, uh, technical questions about accessing the Blackboard, you need to contact, I'll write it down here. 
you need to count on VB student. Oops. Um, maybe I open a black word document. So for Blackboard technical and other technical questions, BB student at .ca, okay? And if you have a difficulty accessing the software, Microsoft Project, Microsoft Access, you need to contact help desk at .ca, and this is about uh, software issues and also the e-text. Okay, and this email is about Blackboard login account, password, etc. And my contact information, okay. So my Chinese first name, Bao Long, okay, P F U R. Okay, those are the helpful information. All right, so now let's go to the Blackboard. So this is the Blackboard. Our course is uh, this one here. By the way, I have two CRNs. I, I combine those two CRNs into one. This is for the online course. You may see the schedule, maybe Tuesday from 12 to 3 or Thursday from 12 to 3. Those hours are uh, help hours, office hours, as you can see. Please make appointment if you need my help, okay? So I'm going to go to the... Uh, so this is our Blackboard page. Um, this is the... When you log in, you see this welcome page, and there are four important attachments. A weekly schedule, course outline, how do you connect VPN account? And how do you install VPN on your computer? The purpose of VPN is to allow you to access Microsoft project software and um, Microsoft access software. Actually for access software, you can use Office um, 2016. Okay, I type in here. Oops. So there are two softwares in this course. One is Microsoft Project software, okay? And you are going to use VPN, Virtual Private Network, to install VPN on your computer. And then you can access uh, the project, okay? And for MS Access, you can just download Microsoft uh, 365, and this is the instructions. Instructions for get Microsoft Access. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the course outline first, and then weekly activities. Um, so this is just the generic skills, skills like communication skills, presentation skills, teamwork, problem solving skills uh, will be addressed from all the courses the college uh, have uh, offered. Okay. Um, learning outcome, uh, basically we are going to learn uh, how to use Microsoft Project to create a project, okay? Uh, and how to use Microsoft Access to build a database to manipulate and control data. Uh, there are two required textbooks. One is your office get started with project management using Microsoft Office 2016. And the other is new perspective on Microsoft Office 365 Access 2016. So two textbooks, and you can claim those two textbooks uh, and see the instructions, okay? So there are two textbooks. Uh, the testing policy. Test must be written at the specific date, and not on campus. This semester, you write your test at home, okay? 
uh, if you miss a test, zero is recorded unless you submit medical certificate to your professor, to me, okay? Uh, in that case, if I verify your medical certificate, I will give you the chance to write a makeup test. A similar policy with assignment. If you missed assignment, uh, zero is recorded unless you provide medical certificate. Um, so those are the academic uh, policy. Please read the course outline thoroughly by yourself so that you don't miss anything. Okay. And this is the grading system. At the end of semester, I will assign you a letter grade based on your performance, academic performance on this course. Yeah. So that is the course outline. Um, next is the weekly activities. Weekly activities. Uh, again, this course, I have two CRNs, okay? It is for the online course. The scheduled time, uh, Monday 12 to 3, or no, Tuesday 12 to 3, uh, Thursday 12 to 3 is for help hours. Please um, reach me out for any help, course content related help. Okay? If you have technological questions, you email help desk at georgebrown.ca, okay. So in this weekly schedule, I also repeat the two textbooks and also I included the, the link to see how this textbook looks like, okay. Uh, you can copy the link to your browser, but uh, you can claim your e-text, okay, for those two textbooks. The evaluation system, we have three quizzes on Blackboard. Multiple choice questions, each quiz is 5%, so total quiz is 15%. And we have three tests. Test one is on chapter one of Microsoft Project, 15%. And test two is a Microsoft Project, chapter two. It is 15%, it is actually combined chapter one and chapter two for test two. Okay. And test three is Microsoft Access module one to four, 20%. Okay. Uh, and then the end, we have three assignments. Assignment part one, Microsoft project, that is 5%. Assignment part two, Microsoft project, 5%. Assignment three, Microsoft Access, 5%. Okay. And we also have 20% hands-on, hands-on on computer. Those hands-on, you are going to go through the textbook, not just read the textbook, but work on your computer, follow the textbook instructions, do the MS, MS project, create MS access database. Those is 20%, okay, 20%. Uh, total we have six hands on, so each like 3.33%. Uh, so this is the week schedule. In week one, you're supposed to complete the MS project textbook, page one to page 19, save your file, uh, because you are going to continue work with those files on week two. So week two, you complete chapter one, work on page number 20, to 57, etc. okay? So the first two weeks, you complete chapter one, okay? Uh, and the chapter three, in week three, you start chapter two, okay? Um, and you need a couple of weeks complete chapter two. So page 60 to 73, just part of chapter two. Then week four is our test. It is online test. You write your test at home. One hour, multiple choice questions. I will give you the practice test one. You can do unlimited time just to familiar yourself with the test format, uh, test coverage, okay, and the difficulty levels. Uh, and week four, you also have quiz one due, 5%. 
and test one cover week one to week three. Okay. So after test one, you continue MS project uh, chapter two. So you finish chapter two in week five and week six. Then week seven, you write test two about chapter one and chapter two. Again, one hour, multiple choice questions on Blackboard at your home. Okay. And week seven, you have our first assignment due. Okay, 5% in addition to quiz two is due and the test two is due. All happen in week seven. Okay. So that is the, after week seven, we have a week eight, intersection week. And then after intersection week, will introduce Microsoft Access. Okay. Uh, access, there are four modules, four modules. So test three will be on week 15. It is only on Microsoft Access, not including MS Project. Okay. So that is the um, weekly schedule. Okay. So I also need to log upload and file. The file is the instructions. How do you claim your e-text? Okay. Uh, edit item attach. Uh, so I'm going to logistics. A student instructions claiming e-text. And this is important. This is how you claim two textbooks so that you can get, okay, see, uh, the, where you get student instructions, submit. Submit. Thank you, already submitted, wait, okay, it is already submitted. So just wait, okay. Um, so I just uploaded student instructions for claiming your e-text. So I'm going to open it. It is a PDF file. Uh, please follow these instructions carefully. If you have any questions on um, claiming your e-text, see, where do you get help? Help desk, help desk if you have questions about claiming your e-text, if you have questions about your software, Microsoft project software, if you have questions about Microsoft Access software, help desk, okay? Because uh, I have no expertise and uh, resources to help you with those softwares. Okay? Uh, but a general tips for the software, if you stuck, um, for example, you are using the Chrome. Try to change different browser, use Firefox. And sometimes it is just simply restart your computer. The issue will solve. Okay. Uh, all right, so that is the uh, steps on claiming your e-text. Please read these instructions carefully and follow the steps along Okay, follow the steps along. Okay, you have your uh, e-text. Okay, electronics textbook. Okay. Um, so this is claiming your e-text. And suppose you have your e-text. What is your textbook looks like? I'll show you. And this is my textbook, e-text. See, this is our Microsoft Project textbook, okay? Uh, two chapters. We are going to cover this textbook week one to week seven. After the first seven week, after reading week, you are going to use Microsoft Access textbook, okay? Uh, Access textbook, similar to, I have 2013 version, but it's similar, okay? Um, New perspective, Microsoft Access. Let's see if I have. 
Okay, similar to okay, new perspective on Microsoft Access, but it is a 2013, 16 version. Okay, so that is the textbook. Okay, so go back to the uh, blackboard. So, so far I introduced the weekly learning activities, course outline, uh, and uh, connecting with a VPN account. This is extremely important. It is like a soldier without weapon. If you study this course without software, <laughs> you get nowhere, okay? So make sure you get this connected. This is the instructions, okay? I also copied the brief instruction here. And I also followed the same instruction and I did it on my computer just a few days ago, okay? <laughs> we are on the same page, see? Uh, so first step, you need to go to this website, https colon slash slash remote dot dot ground dot ca. And then use your still view username and password, and then follow the on screen instructions. Okay, so you get um, uh, installed and connected to VPN. Okay, so this procedure is a detailed documented at here, connecting with VPN account. And make sure you get this uh, account as soon as possible because without this one, you cannot do Microsoft project, okay? So this is the steps, similar to the steps I showed you, okay? Username, password, okay. and this is um, uh, connect. This is connect, but first you have to install. So the difference between those two VPN files this one install, you do installation first. Without installation, you, you cannot connect. So this is a four pages instructions on install VPN on your computer. It works both on my Mac and uh, PC. I'm using Mac and I follow the steps. It worked very well, okay? Uh, see, again, if you, uh, have questions on VPN, see help desk, help desk, okay, call help desk, okay. Um, so that is the VPN. Uh, suppose you already have, you installed it VPN and uh, then you need to connect VPN. So this is my connection here. Uh, here, I have this icon here. Okay, so I click it, then it said ready to connect. I, before you see this button, this screen, you need to install VPN first. After installation, you see this one. Okay, and then click connect. And now you have a still view, um, username, password for me. Okay, and you click accept. And now it is connected. And some student may stuck here. So what? So what? You installed VPN and you connected VPN. So what? What is the next step? Next step, you go apps anywhere. So I'm going to show you, okay? I will. Open a new website, which is www.jotbrown apps anywhere. Okay, jotbrown.ca slash apps anywhere. And you are here. And then uh, you can click apps anywhere here. and using your credentials to log in. And click open apps, apps anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
อันเดียนอยู่สกอตังอันที่อยู่ฟังไมโครซอฟท์เดอะโปรเจกต์เขียนสิไมโครซอฟท์เดอะโปรเจกต์ยูสเขียนโอเค if you do not install VPN and if you do not connect VPN this one is disabled this one so is not available so now it is available so you quit it and then quit launch Uh, it takes some time because it is remotely try to connect my computer to the server. Okay. Um, so you may not have those files because those are the files I worked with over the past years. Um, so you may need to create a blank project. That is the steps in. Uh, so I'm going to open here. So where is our textbook? So this is our textbook. Okay. So I'm going to open the textbook. And uh, now I am going to show you how do you follow textbook instructions to complete your 20% hands-on. 20% hands-on. Um, all right. Uh, so this is, uh, you have to read. So those you can read over, OK? Uh, when you actually do something on the computer, uh, about also content and try to count. this is content yes see you start from here see oops go to the content so I'm going to prep here page two so you read over okay read over and then it explained some terminology. Okay, now how do you start a project? Start a project, okay? Uh, because we are using the VPN, not actual, you, your computer do not have the Microsoft project. You are using remote connecting to the college uh, source. So uh, you just skip the A, step A, Okay, you directly open project 2016, then click black project. So I'm going to show you here. So where is my, um, here. Okay, see, the textbook said, quick black project. So you click black project. Okay, and now you have this project window opened. And then you follow the textbook instructions. For example, this, okay, uh, task one, uh, I will give you new example. So this, um, for example, this is our week one, okay? So week one, duration five days, okay? So I'm going to click five days. Okay? And then we go to next week, week two. It is also five days. Okay? So you read the textbook instructions, okay? Uh, and enter all the tasks, okay? Um, and go different views. For example, right now, it's scan chart view. Your mouse, click view button. By default, it's scan chart view. Okay, so this is a slow process. Most students would spend probably as any subject, if you have a three hours lecture, you need to spend at least six hours outside the lecture. So plus lecture, roughly you need to spend 10 hours for one week for one course. Okay, so prepares to spend 
10 hours for week one, including install VPN, go over um, the course outline, weekly activities, etc. Okay. Uh, so that is the uh, introduction. How do you use the VPN? After you installed and connect VPN, you go to apps anywhere and you launch Microsoft process. And now there's another question. Because we are using VPN, you do not save the file on your computer. You are not allowed. You can't. You just can't. So what you do, you save the file in one drive. The question is, where is my one drive? Everybody, as a student at George Brown, you have one drive. So where is your one drive? I'm going to show you. You go to here. You see your one drive. You go to HTTP, uh, login, Microsoft. OK, you go to HTTP column slash slash login.microsoft.com. So what I'm trying to show you, how do you access uh, Microsoft Office 365? Um, so pick an account. So it is George Brown account. Uh, in, on Blackboard, I give you the detailed instructions. You need to use your still view login. Okay, still view login for Microsoft. Um, product and then I sign in. See, this is a Microsoft Office. Uh, by the way, if you are using PC, you can install Office on your PC, okay, um, including Microsoft Access. Okay. So, for Access, you do not need to use apps anywhere, but for Microsoft Project, you have to use Microsoft, uh, apps anywhere. So when you your drive, it is here. It is like a one drive. You have to save the file here. Okay. One drive. Uh, I suggest you create a folder. It is asked you to log in again. So uh, so I created this is GBC folder. I strongly suggest you create a folder for semester. For example, this semester is 420. Create a folder. How do you create a folder? You click new and then folder, okay? Once you create a folder and then you create a folder for this subject, comp 1115, because you may have other subjects, okay? So comp 1115, and then you can store your file here, okay? Uh, and remember, you need to submit your file to earn credit. How do you submit? After you save your file here, you see the three dots here, three dots, you click it, and you click download. Okay, so you download the file to your computer, and then you upload your file from your computer to the Blackboard. Okay. All right, so I showed you the process, uh, instructions on install VPN, connecting VPN. After you connect VPN, you go to apps anywhere, do something based on textbook instructions, and then save your file on one drive. When you finish chapter one, when you finish chapter one, download the file from one drive to your computer and upload to the Blackboard, okay? So this is uh, the Microsoft Project VPN OneDrive. Looks a lot. That's why you need to spend the time to digest. Like anything else, you need to practice, practice, and practice, okay? All right, so go back to the Blackboard. Those are the very important documents. Read carefully, okay? And the inst instructions are here, okay? And this is the, uh, I listed all the important dates for the work, test one, test two, until hands on, specific date and time, okay? Uh, there are three big important dates here, test one, test two, test three. 
all the tests are happened on Thursday, Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. at your home on Blackboard, okay? So the test, you are going to write your test here, test and quizzes. Test and quizzes. Um, I give you the practice quiz so that you familiar uh, yourselves how to do the online quiz. Okay, these are. Oops. Um, sorry, these are a small score. Okay, uh, under the quiz one, five percent. Okay, you cannot see quiz one right now because it is available. Uh, on September 11, okay? Uh, I give you the practice test one, you can do many times, it will not count, okay? The actual test one, you will see on the test date, Thursday, October 1st, is our test one, okay? Um, so, so anyway, all the tests and quizzes are here. And the format is multiple choice questions, the test and quizzes, okay? And for the course content, um, I for the course content again I repeated those important files here. Okay, and I also give you the weekly learning activities under course content. So for week one, for week one. So you are going to claim your electronic textbook, claim your electronic textbook, and uh, you have to um, install the VPN, connect VPN, use apps anywhere to access Microsoft Project, and then go textbook page one to 19, okay, and save the file, this is the file name. Okay. And I also give you the PowerPoint presentation, help you uh, digest the chapter one content. Okay. Um, the PowerPoint presentation, you can see again, cause content here. Okay. Um, this is the uh, week one. Okay, so at the end of week one, you need to complete page one to 19 in chapter one on Microsoft Project. Okay. Um, so that is the uh, weekly content. And where do you get PowerPoint? I also post the PowerPoint presentation here and the additional Microsoft training material here. Okay, uh, if you ever need data file, Microsoft Project data file is here. It is in zip format. Okay, access data file, zip format. Yeah. And when you complete your hands-on, when you complete your assignment, where do you submit? Here, assignments, hands-on, assignments, hands-on. And uh, how do you submit your assignment? You click here, hands on for Microsoft Project. Remember after week one and week two, uh, you're supposed to complete Microsoft Project uh, chapter one, okay? Uh, and you need to submit two files. One is the textbook chapter one itself. The other is toward the end of the textbook, you have uh, an activity, page 53, steps A to Z. You need also complete that one, okay? Um, so that is a uh, chapter one, okay? And chapter two, chapter two hands on the required file you need. I also attached here in ID, okay? You can get from the zip, okay? Uh, this is the file required for chapter two. For chapter one, you do not need data file. You create a new blank project file. Okay. But for chapter two, you need to open the data file. I posted here. The other way to get data file, you go to course content. I showed you, okay, data file. And assignment one, 5%, you get assignment here, what document ask you to create a project. 
uh, assignment one part two, uh, you need this data file to complete this project. And the last assignment is assignment two, Microsoft project uh, access, access. Okay, so anyway, this is the place you submit your hands-on and you submit your assignment, right? Um, all right, in summary, what I did in this video, I introduced myself and I welcome you to this computer application course. I introduced course outline, weekly learning activities, and the most, most important thing, install VPN, connect VPN, and access apps anywhere, okay? And make sure you can access the OneDrive, create folders on OneDrive, and another most, most important thing, claim your e-text without textbook. You can do nothing, okay? And um, all right, so that's all for this video. Uh, again, I will show you the uh, instruction. Any questions, if course-related questions, you email me. If it is a software, e-text help desk if it is blackboard bb student okay and all right so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i wish you the most successful semester okay all right thanks for watching bye